Everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm April and on my channel, I'll show you how to do it yourself projects on a budget. And if that's something you like to see, then keep on watching. Hey, that's senorita. I, I know you want to go down nice to me. In this video, I'm going to give a vintage style shell back chair a makeover. I purchased this chair from my local flea market for $20. I'll be using milk paint and reupholster the seat with a different fabric. Let's get started. Before you paint your piece, make sure you get you a bucket of soap and water and clean your piece really well from dirt and grease, cobwebs and smells, just to make sure it's fresh. And then also, it also makes your paint adhere to it, so you want to do that as well. I'm shining for you in my armor Yes, I love you, see your armor Guilty as charged, no please, your honor mm. Though your walls are brave Your beauty's really blinding my mind I don't mind, lead me on What will I find? God's design, perfect craftsmanship You're so divine And your mind We've got so much time I did a total of three coats of paint and three coats of protective finish and I made sure I let my piece dry for two hours after each coat. I'm using Fabric Mod Podge. It's a fabric adhesive and I'm using this paisley fabric that I got from the thrift store. I got like three and a half yards for $5. Can you believe it? <laughs> and then I'm using a brush and also scissors to cut out my um, patterns to my chair. I'm cutting mines out in like different little pieces. And I'm also cutting out swirls to bring more of the black swirls in the middle so I can bring the black out of the chair. Once you're done applying your fabric, you have to apply your second coat on top. It looks really white and thick, but then it dries clear.
And it also has like a like a little sheen to it and it's soft when it dries. I'm adding decorative nail head trim for the finishing touches. Me up alive. 